this is Elaine with Elaine's Creations and in this video I'm going to show you how to make this pull tab card with the Trees for Sale stamp set and the tree lot dies. Okay here is a pull tab card. Um, this is fun you pull this uh, ribbon piece up here and then um, you've got two hidden messages and a fun little scene that kind of pops up here. Um, so we're going to start with the template. So here's the template. You can uh, take a picture of this, but I will go uh, through it with you as I cut. So we're using the Trees for Sale stamp set from the mini catalog and the free celebration tree lot dies, which unfortunately are sold out, but I will be cutting all the dies uh, for my card class for the Trees for Sale, which will be available till this Saturday, August 13th and um, we'll include supplies for three cards, including this one. So I'll cut the camper out for you. I will um, cut the trees out and you can stamp them. You'll still need to purchase the stamp set if you want to, but um, I will cut all the dies for you. Okay, so before I cut or score anything, I wanna go ahead and uh, get my colors down, my blended colors. And this is a really fun color combination that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna do soft succulent and evening evergreen on the bottom, and then I'm gonna do Tahitian Tide and Night of Navy on the top. So I'm gonna start with the soft succulent. Always start with the lighter color. And just get some ink on there. And just slowly, lightly at first, kind of bring it up to about there. Um, cause there's this nice little glow here where the ombre, um, fades into the night of Navy. I like that. Yes. I'm going to try to recreate that. I'm not worrying about the bottom cause we're going to do the evening evergreen on the bottom. So there's that bit of light green and then we'll do evening evergreen. So this one's obviously darker. So we're just gonna see how everything is here and then just very lightly add our dark green. That looks nice. Okay, and blend it up. Okay, and then we're gonna press a little bit more to get darker green down here. Okay like it. Okay, I might add a little bit more up there. Now we're going to do the sky. And so we're going to do a Tahitian Tide first and then Night of Navy. So here's the Tahitian Tide. Okay. Um, same thing, just start softly. Don't have to worry about the top too much because we're really gonna get the ink in here. And if you wanna have uh, more of a like fixed horizon line, um, you can just use um, masking uh, post-it note or masking tape, um, or Stampin' Up! has masking paper, so you could cut some for that. See, so we get this kind of glow here um, in between that I really like. And just a really soft, soft border. Okay, so that's the Tahitian Tide. And then last of all, we have Night of Navy. Okay, oh, that's Evening Evergreen. See, that's why I label these, because I don't want to get them mixed up. I'm too lazy to wash them. Okay, so now this one's gonna go super light again. And then we'll add more pressure. Okay, and we're gonna go over this a couple times uh, to get it nice and dark. But you see you got this kind of glow going on here. So cool. This is similar to the other card that I did, the starry sky. 
but uh, just wanted to use some different colors and uh, try this out. I'm gonna go ahead and come down here and uh, I think I want a little bit more. So you can keep, you know, building and adding color as you see fit. Okay, woo! That's hard work, I'm sweating. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna do uh, some fun things. We're gonna do um, like we did before, spritzing. And I spritzed, I put water in there. You can use alcohol as well, um, rubbing alcohol. I also put in um, a good squeeze of pearlized enamel effects to give it a shimmery look. And uh, it does, it totally works. It gives it like a shimmery kind of look like it's shimmery paper. Um, but I'm gonna mostly try to get this, maybe I could use, yeah, cause I want this to just be like on the top. So I'm just gonna do a couple post-it notes just to cover the bottom. Okay, now we're ready. Okay, I gotta look at the direction of where you're spraying. Um, and just do, couple light squeezes and then see how it turns out. And then if you feel like you need more, you can do a little bit more. <coughs> okay, I want a little bit more. Oop. That was messed up. Okay, but um, no worries. I'm going to um, stamp some of the snowflakes in uh, Whisper White. And so I can kind of cover that up a little bit. So I'm gonna use my Whisper White Craft Ink. And as you can see, I uh, just inked it. So you, you ink it right before you're gonna use it. So I just inked it. Okay. And now we're gonna do uh, the little snowflakes. Super, super cute. So we're just gonna stamp them just randomly, but also on those water spots. So it looks like purposeful. Okay, I think that looks great. Okay, we're gonna let that dry. Okay, so now we're gonna do the cutting. So now we need um, the template. And so I'm gonna start um, with the cutting. So I'm gonna do three cuts and they are equidistant from each side. Um, so I'm gonna start with the five eighths. So there's a half and then there is five eighths right there. I'm just gonna close this here. And then I'm gonna just grab a post-it note because I might need it. And then um, we're gonna cut from five eighths down to four and five eighths. So um, I'm just gonna use, um, cause this is dark and it's a little bit hard to see. So I'm just gonna grab a post-it note and slide it under so I can see the numbers a little bit better so that I can see that that is five eighths, okay? So, um, five eighths, five eighths. Okay, we're gonna cut down to four and five eighths. Okay, I'll get another one. Four and a half, and then there's five eighths. Okay, so that's one side. Okay, and now we're gonna do um, the same thing Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So there's half an inch, so 5 eighths is uh, one more over, so right about there. Okay, and we're already kind of on, oh, I can see better here, four and 5 eighths right here. Okay. 
And we're going to go all the way up to five. I'm having trouble seeing again. Five eighths right there. Okay. So I use post-it notes to help me. Okay. So now um, we're going to line the bottom up over here at five eighths right there. And uh, this time we're going to cut from five eighths down to three and three eighths. Okay, so I should be at five eighths. Okay, and then put that down, and then we're just gonna go to three and three eighths. Okay, and um, that creates our flap. So let's see. Oh, so nice. I did a pretty good job. Pretty good job. Okay, so now we're gonna put that away. We don't wanna use the cutter anymore. Now we're gonna um, face this this way. And um, we're gonna put it at, sorry, um, with the flap over on the right side. And then again, we're gonna put it at five eighths. So there's five eighths. Uh, but this time we're gonna use the scoring tool and we're gonna go in between. So we're gonna go from again, three and three eighths to five eighths. I'm just gonna make a score line right there. And all these score lines are gonna be in between the two lines. And then this is two and a half right here. So we'll score that. And then we have four and a quarter. So four and a quarter down here. Four and a quarter. Okay. So there's four and a quarter. Okay. So we have this ready. Um, and we've got a couple more pieces of white. Um, one is going to be a uh, background. Um, so when we pull the tab up, we'll see the sentiment. And then this is going to be the piece that we uh, pull up. Okay, so this is four by five and a quarter, uh, um, as is this. So these should like perfectly lay over each other, or you could make this a little bit smaller and that would be helpful. This uh, piece is three and a quarter by um, four and a half. And I'm gonna use the basic um, trio punch, the very best trio punch. And I'm gonna cut uh, some corners, some actual corners, like tag. Okay, so there's one. And you just push straight down and you get those nice tag corners. And now I'm going to um, punch this slot here for the ribbon. So this one I'm gonna eyeball a little bit more. Okay, there's our slot. Yeah, it's a little bit off, but I think it will still work. Okay, so we're gonna move the tag aside for now, or should we stamp the tag? Okay, we're gonna stamp the tag and um, this bottom piece here. So this is what they're gonna look like. Um, so we're gonna use that Knight of Navy again. And we're gonna stamp the sentiments. And so the first sentiment is so very merry. And we'll put that at the top right here. And then this sentiment, I'm going to divide up because uh, it's a little bit too long. I'm gonna re-center it. So I'm gonna just ink, you light up. Okay. And uh, this one's gonna go on this piece over here. Um, so you wanna make sure that you're gonna get it. So if this were in the middle right here, and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, put some folds on these. So this is gonna fold this way. And then uh, this one folds this way and this one folds this way, okay? So this is gonna help create like a little uh, guide to where we're gonna be putting this. OK, 
Okay, so I'm gonna put this over top and uh, then I'm just going to do just, um, actually I can just stamp it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna stamp it um, in between. So there's you light up and we'll clean that side off. And then I can move this because I know where I'm gonna stamp. And I'll just ink up. Alrighty. Now I'm gonna add some fun little stars in Daffodil Delight. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this one and just add a whole bunch of fun stars all around. Uh, just rotate the stars. Okay, now I'm going to adhere this piece down to the card base. Okay, so it's gonna go in the center here. And then I'm going to adhere this tag to this piece right here. So I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna add um, some Stampin' Seal Plus because this is gonna get pulled to this little tab here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and lay it flat. And then I'm going to line this up and center it um, from top to bottom. Whoa! Okay, and make sure um, the two edges line up there. Me, me, me. Okay, and then um, you can use a layering uh, circle die to cut a little uh, thumb hold because we need a thumb hold to grab that there. Or if you still have circle punches like I do, you can just use one of those. So I just did a uh, one and a quarter punch. So I, I see the tab is there, although I should probably center it. So I will be good, I will center it. So we have four inches, so half is two. Okay. So I'll just insert this way. And I'm not gonna go halfway, I'm just gonna go like a third of the way in. Okay, so that created a tab so that we can grab that. Okay, and now we're going to add foam adhesive strips. These are awesome. They make creating these kinds of cards so easy. Any kind of pull tab, card, slider, card, uh, some of the spinning cards, just, I don't know. It just makes it really easy. So I'm just gonna put this one down here at the bottom and then I can put one at the on the side over here super easy okay and then you can just uh, save the rest of the foam strip for later okay so um, now that this is down um, I think we can put this down on here now okay so we're gonna take all the backing off of each strip. And then um, we have a couple more steps with the ribbon and the trees. Okay, so we're gonna get this centered as best we can here. Okay, We've got it centered. And then we'll put some ribbon on here to make it easier, but there's our pull. Nice and smooth, very, very nice. Okay. So I've already um, stamped some trees. I did a soft succulent and evening evergreen, just like I did on the bottom here. And so, um, let's see, I can show you uh, what that would look like. So I'm gonna do soft succulent for the solid image. Put this away. And then, uh, evening evergreen 
for the detailed image. If you want, you could do a soft succulent on soft succulent um, for less of a contrast. That's Night of Navy. Um, but I want to have a good contrast on here. So you're just going to line this up and stamp on top. And then um, you can use the uh, tree dies to cut that out or if you don't have the dies you can just fussy cut it but if you're getting this kit I will cut it for you so what's fun is the dies have all three trees outlined so I can just take this and uh, cut it out with that or I could do um, one of these and one of these dies these also go together and these are a little bit more detail like I did for this card so you have several ways to do the trees really fun so that will get cut out now i have uh my camper so I've got my camper and a piece of vellum for the back and a strip of gray for the back i'm gonna put the vellum on top of the gray um i don't know i don't want to see through the camper on this i want it to look like there there's an inside to the camper and it's not hollow and doesn't go right through to the trees because I think that looks kind of funny. So I've got all my little pieces here and I'm just gonna do some liquid glue. So now we can place this on top. Um, when the die cuts out the camper body, it has these embossed lines. Look really nice for the door and the window and the tire and then it also guides you as to where to put these little embellishments so okay and then on the back we're gonna do the vellum so I'm gonna add a little bit more glue to the back so we'll just uh, trim the corners off the top a little bit and then we can add this then we can do the same for the basic gray and uh, we can just uh, cut some corners here too and again I'm just gonna add adhesive around the windows I don't want anybody to see the glue through the windows but I don't think that would look nice So that I want on top. And uh, we can put this aside and add a little block. So it keeps it down until it dries. And then um, we can work on the ribbon. So for the ribbon, um, you want a scratch piece of paper. But I do need to add that because that's kind of drying. So let me go back and see if this will still stick even though it's drying. Oops, got a little bit of glue coming out. So hopefully that will still stick. Yay! Okay, so our camper is ready, but we are going to color uh, some ribbon. This is uh, from the Forest Friends Suite. And I'm going to use a dark Knight of Navy uh, marker to color it. So any light colored uh, ribbon, you can color it with the blends and turn it into whatever color you would like. Pretty cool. And if you want it to be even darker, you could go over it again. And um, you can also uh, flip it over um, to color the other side. This uh, ribbon's a little bit thicker than most. So for this one, I do recommend 
flipping it over and coloring it. And you're gonna wanna let it dry for a little bit. It'll get a little bit stiff, um, but it's still workable. Okay, hopefully that's enough. And I'll just trim, I'm gonna trim above it. Okay, and we'll set this aside and let it dry while we put on the camper. So the camper, I think everything has dimensionals like I normally do. Um, so we'll do a dimensional over here, it looks like. And then we'll do one for the big one. And then this one's gonna have one at the bottom. And then we'll see about this one. Okay, so I'm gonna do the trees first. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put them a little higher up too. So here's a tree right here. Maybe scoot it over a tiny bit, okay. And then I'm gonna do this tree underneath. I wanna make sure I get that dimensional below the score line here. And then this one, I think I should also tuck under for this one. And I'll just do a mini dimensional on this side. That way I can just slip it in right there. Okay, so there's our trees. And then I can put a little bit of adhesive. Uh, no, I think I can put a dimensional down here. Okay, we'll put one down there. And uh, I'm gonna put this over here. So hopefully this isn't interfering with that. Okay, but I need it to be um, lined up with the score line. So this is a little bit too high. So I'm gonna put it down lower. That should be good, super cute. Okay, so now we're gonna need our pull ribbon. So let's see if this is kinda dry. And I'm just gonna cut um, a little bit of an angle there to help me out. Um, so it's mostly dry. It dries pretty quick, the blends. So I'm gonna put it through and then put them together and just tie a knot, just something super easy and I will be trimming the ends so you don't need to worry about that I didn't color all the way to the end. Okay, so this is a little shorter than I would have liked it, but I think I can still do it. Okay, it's coming. And then just a knot, so you can just uh, pull it, there we go, okay. And then now I can trim, um, let's trim this one first. And then I kind of know where to trim that one. Lovely, lovely. And that is our pull tab uh, camper, trees for sale, tree lot dies. Oh, why does that, why does that happen to this? Oh, when it's coming back down. No, yeah, it's fine. So yeah, um, so again, offering free class. Um, when you place a $50 order using my current host code, you'll get supplies for two of each of these cards. Because the tree lot dies are sold out, I will be cutting all the die pieces for you so you don't have to worry about having the dies. Thanks so much for watching this video tutorial with the Trees for Sale stamp set and the Tree Lot dice. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and leave a comment for this video. And don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you know every time I go live and I do raffle prizes on my lives and every time I post a new video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.